Hello gamers, I'm going to teach you how to solo the final final boss of V Rising. I'm talking about the final shard bearer boss. If you're looking for how to solo the final V blood boss, I'll link that in the top right. Anyway, let's get into the video. I really shouldn't have to say this, but there will be spoilers in this video. What you're seeing right now is gameplay of me soloing Adam. I'm going to break down the important notes about this fight after the clip. But if you just want to see the breakdown, then skip to the time that's on the screen right now. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if you could please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, it helped me out a ton. I appreciate it and I'll see you at the breakdown. The lightning obeys my command. You should choose.
as a god! And down he goes. That is how I soloed Adam. He is easily the hardest fight in the game. I used a sword with no damaging abilities, but I do have some tips if you're more of a spellcaster. First things first, I heavily recommend you have a movement speed spell. I used the Power Surge, which is a chaos spell. It helps you dodge a lot. Some of the shields and counters can also work, but I would like to point out that a lot of things in this fight cannot be blocked or countered. That's just how they work. So a movement speed spell or like the illusion spear that lets you dodge. If you have the pistols and you can dodge with the explosive bullet, that'll also work. But I heavily recommend you have some way to dodge that is not your main dodge. Having two forms of dodging is really beneficial in this fight. The second spell is your own personal preference. If you're a spellcaster, then make it some damage. If you're a physical fighter, then I recommend you use Power Surge and Blood Rage. That be your two spells personally. If you have another one, feel free to. Just make sure that one of them is movement speed, as I said. Because as a physical fighter, you're going to need that. It will be required. So if you're watching this video, you've probably already fought him at least once. But if you haven't, the arena has eight generators around it that shoot lightning throughout the arena in sort of a square formation. They're not that hard to break. However, Adam will not give you much downtime to break them. I usually prefer to just circle around him in one spot and then when he does something that pushes you away or gives you time, I'll go and break one. Or if he manages to grab me and throw me, I'll just break the one closest to me because the coming attack is usually his three hit and it's pretty easy to dodge. I'll get into his attacks in a little bit, but I recommend breaking them only really when you have a chance and to not put yourself in danger to try to break them. Now we get into his attacks. He has a lot of them, so sit tight. His most common attack is his three hit attack that shoots projectiles on each attack. The first hit is from his right side, so your left. His second hit will be from the other side and his third hit will be an overhead slam. You should see it on the screen right now. It will shoot three projectiles when it hits the floor. You can sidestep the first two easily by going the opposite direction. So for the first one where he throws it on his right side, you will move to his left and vice versa on the second hit. But the third one, you will need to get behind him. Just try to run around him in a circle. If you have a movement speed spell, this is where I recommend you use it. Try not to use your dash for this because you might need it. This is the best attack for you to attack him during. This has the most downtime for you to swing on him on his open back. He has three other attacks for the first half of his health bar. These attacks are a big stomp attack. This is very telegraphed. He'll lift his foot up and after about a second, he will stomp and it will shoot eight projectiles around him in a circle. Now this next attack is the most important one for you to worry about while he's above his first half health bar. He'll try to grab you with his left arm and then throw you. I recommend you save your dodge to dodge this attack, but sometimes you won't have it. You'll just get unlucky like that. If you don't have the dodge, then your best bet is to just run to your left. Speaking of which, even outside of this attack, for the first half of his health bar, almost all of his attacks start on your right so running to the left is good you will get hit by one attack which is the first hit of his three hit combo but it really doesn't do much damage and it doesn't stop you from getting around his back so if you have any life steal you'll heal back the damage you took when you are hitting him on his back on the next couple attacks anyway so always in the first half of his health bar, if you're panicking, just run to the left of him. The last attack he will do when he's in his first half of his health bar is he will push you away and then say, my command. You I'll stick his hand into the air and pull it down. This will restore one of the generators and call down random lightning strikes. They're pretty easy to dodge simply by walking away. Just make sure you're paying attention. It's just something on the floor that you have to be sure you don't walk into. This one's pretty easy to dodge compared to one in the later stages of the fight. Now, once he gets to around half HP, he will gain four new attacks. The first one is a lightning shield. This one is a lot more defensive than aggressive. He'll block anything you hit him with and it will counter by shooting lightning back at you. So I recommend you try not to hit this shield. It's hard to see coming, so you'll probably hit it the first time. Don't worry, it doesn't do too much damage. Just try to make sure you're not continuously hitting that shield. I recommend when he pops this shield that you break any generators that are up, the closest one to you. 
You'll have enough time to break one for free, and then you'll be ready to dodge whatever attack he comes with. But it's important that you don't use your dodge to get to the generator. Often what he'll do out of this shield is a grab attack, and you want to make sure you have your dodge for that. So don't use your dodge to get to a generator. The next new attack he gains is another form of the grab, but it is a lunge attack. He will charge you with his shoulder down and then try to impale you with his pokey arm. This will do a ton of damage to you. This is now the new thing you try to save your dodge for. Do your best to avoid this. Usually he doesn't use both grabs back to back, so you can still use your dodge for both of them. But if you see the shoulder charge, do not be afraid to dodge. If you do see the shoulder charge and you don't have your dodge, it might happen. Run to the right this time. This is one of the one attacks that you have to run to the right instead of the left. The third attack you will get for this phase is a slam attack. He will bring both his arms back, scream, and then teleport behind you and slam the ground in a cone direction. If you have dodge, I recommend playing the safe and dodging out of it. But if you don't, then just try to run around him after he teleports. If you get pretty good at this, you won't need your dodge, but it's okay to use your dodge a couple of times. What you'll find is you often don't really have your dodge up for a couple of these really tough attacks, and you'll just have to learn how to move out of them, which is why I'm so recommending of getting a movement speed ability so you can find a way, another way out of the attack safely. The last attack he will gain is an advanced version of the Lightning Obeys Me attack where he calls down lightning. He will say, Behold the might of Adam! and call down lightning strikes. These are bigger lightning strikes and they leave behind little lightning balls that hurt to touch and slow you. And after some time, they will pop again and do more damage. I think they strike three to four times before the balls disappear. And I know it's a lot to keep track of, but thankfully you can kind of just worry about the one or two balls that's closest to you or within like your range. So you don't really have to focus on everything. Just kind of be aware of what's going on at your feet while you're looking at him and you should be good. Now, after you successfully empty his health bar, he'll drop to his knees, but don't get too excited. You're just about to enter the hardest phase of the fight. If there's a generator up, I recommend you go break it while he's on the ground. But after a couple of seconds, he will push away anyone that's close and then stand back up at half HP. His stabby arm is now made of lightning and he gains, guess what? New attacks. He's very aggressive in this phase and it's very easy to get overwhelmed. But on the bright side, he loses a couple of attacks. So you don't have to worry about any attack that I don't mention from here for the rest of the video. Now, his new most common attack is another three hit combo, but with lightning. If he hits you with the first one, it will chain into the next two. It's similar to the first three hit combo, but it does more damage and the third attack will teleport behind you and then slam. Similar to the other teleport behind you and slam attack. This one is also hard to dodge. I panic like every time he does it, but you can dodge it. You can step to the right of the first attack and then to the left of the second and then use your dodge to get out of the slam. If you don't have your dodge for the slam, you can just walk perpendicular to where he teleports and you should be able to walk out of the slam. This is his most problematic attack, so if you can avoid this, the rest should be pretty easy. Quick little note, this attack becomes much easier to dodge if you have a movement speed ability like I mentioned. He has a couple other attacks. One is the same normal grab that you know. As always, try to avoid this. Hopefully you've learned the timing on this and you can just walk to the left instead of dodging. But if you still need to dodge, that's okay. You just might get punished on the three hit attack I mentioned for not having it. Another attack he has now, and you will see this a lot, is he will stick his hand in the air and say, While he's doing this, you should be hitting him. You will see a circle on the ground and that's what you need to not get hit by. If you're lucky and it's not on top of him, keep hitting him. If it's in the way of him, then stop hitting him and focus on not getting hit yourself. The circle will turn into a beam that moves pretty slow, but does a ton of damage. Try your best not to get caught by it. It's honestly not too hard, it moves pretty slow, but be aware of it. After he calls the beam down, he will make a shield again. This is the same shield as before, try not to hit him, and if you can, break a generator. After the shield goes down, he'll jump into the air and lightning will start raining down all over the place. 
These are easy to dodge. Just watch where you're walking and stay away from the beam. Again, save your dodge. You will need it. If a circle appears on you, just walk back. You have time. They're a lot easier to dodge than you would think. After five seconds, you will see a giant red circle on the ground, which is where he's going to land. Use your dodge for this. It's easy to dodge. You probably won't get out of the circle, but your dodge get, makes you invincible for like a half second. So you can just time it pretty easily. I still recommend trying to dodge out of the circle, but if you get really good at it, you might can dodge in to be able to hit him immediately. Another attack that he keeps is the one with the advanced lightning balls. He will say, I am a force of nature and they will pop up you already know how to deal with these so now you just have to worry about him being more aggressive while this is happening the more problematic thing to worry about is another grab he'll try to grab you with his lightning hand he will fry you and then throw you this does a lot of damage and if you land in more lightning it does even more damage if you have your dodge use it for this it is okay this is a problematic thing this is worth dodging the next thing he'll do is he can also just leap into the air. This is a repeat of what he did after the lightning beam and the shield. Hopefully there is no lightning beam, but you'll probably have the lightning balls on the ground. You may take some damage here because there's a lot of area denial on the floor, but it's okay to take a little as long as you save your dodge. You need to save it for when he slams back down. Remember that. These are all of his attacks. I know it's a lot to take in. This fight took me a couple of tries. But make sure you have max armor and a legendary weapon. This is the hardest fight in the game. You need to be as maxed as you can. Also, make both the magic potion and the physical potion. If you have the two previous shards, you should also use those. And note that I won this fight with 100% warrior blood during a blood moon. Be as prepared as you can. The game recommends you do this fight with three or more vampires. But if you do do it a couple of times, you will learn his move. This won't seem so complicated, and you too can solo him. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.